What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. Today I'm going to show you how to draw braids. So like usual with braids, you start off with the hair and it kind of comes into the middle. It kind of tapers a little bit right here. So we're going to start off with drawing a line that kind of goes down. This will be the path for the braids. I think this is uh, pretty essential when you're drawing braids because you don't want to end up making braids that kind of like well, braids actually do taper in the end, but you want to make a path for it because maybe you're uh, thinking about making braids in kind of like a swirly pattern like this or kind of like straight up or something like that. So that's why it's that's why you have to make a path for the braids so you won't like get all disorganized and mess everything up in the end. So that's why that's important. After I draw this line, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to follow this like shape right here. It's kind of like a V shape with both braids. So we're going to go on both sides. Now it's kind of looking like a heart shape and that's what it's supposed to look like. So what happens here? One one braid is actually going to overlap the other. So let's make this one overlap this one. And then we're going to kind of like connect those two shapes together. Like so. And then darken that a little bit. And then we're gonna keep going as and then we're gonna keep going with this same concept going going down. So I, I didn't mention this earlier, but I drew a little invisible line here to help make it a little bit more organized. Because going forward, you'll actually notice that this will probably be a zigzag shape. But I didn't really want to start out with like a zigzag shape because that's not how I work. I mean, because to me, that's not actually how I like to draw braids. I actually like to start out with the shape and then worry about the zigzag shape later. Because I don't like going from in then out. I like to go out then in, if, if you know what I'm saying. So that's what I like to do. But getting back to the braids... We're make we're still making this we're still making this braid overlap this one and it's best to make one braid on one side overlap the other going forward doing these braids because you don't want to make one overlap the other and then the other overlaps the one and then it'll kind of look weird and then uh, like I said with the zigzag shape it'll kind of like mess up the whole like I don't know what the word is for it you'll kind of mess up the zigzag shape going forward so just to keep that in mind. As you're drawing the rest of the braids, they're kind of get they're kind of going to get smaller because this little line that we drew here it almost tapers at the bottom, but it gets smaller going down. So that's why you want to make these uh, shapes not the same size as you're going forward. And see as they're getting smaller. And when you think about it, they're kind of like smaller heart shapes. And then as you're coming towards the bottom, you're gonna still overlap this one. And what I like to do is I like to make this end, I kinda of wanna make it a little bit curvier. And then going past it, I'm just gonna draw like a little scrunchie or like a band right underneath it. It's gonna match that same shape, but to help separate, I'm just gonna color it in. And then from here, this is totally optional to you guys. I'm just gonna draw like a little strand of hair poking off of that. This is what I like to do when I'm drawing the braids. And then just darken the rest of the lines. And then I'm just going to go in with my pencil and show you guys the zigzag pattern that we ended up making. And see that's like a really smooth zigzag. And it's kind of like proves my point from earlier that I don't want to start off with the zigzags and like kind of make those perfect and then end up messing these strands up in the end. It's best to start off with the strands first and then go and mess up, mess around with the zigzags. So yeah, that's how you draw braids. 
So if you like this video and you found it helpful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I can't let a nigga like